For today's video, we are going to talk about how to find the horizontal asymptotes of a rational function and we are going to explain everything in details. In finding the horizontal asymptotes of a rational function, there are three conditions that you need to remember. The first one, if n less than m, the horizontal asymptote is y equals 0, where n that is the degree of the numerator and m is the degree of the denominator. The second one, if n equals m, the horizontal asymptote is y equals a over b, where a is the leading coefficient of the numerator and b is the leading coefficient of the denominator. And lastly, if n greater than m, there is no horizontal asymptote. But if the degree of the numerator exceeds the degree of the denominator by exactly 1, we have an oblique asymptote. To find oblique asymptote, let us simply divide the numerator by the denominator and we are going to disregard the remainder. So these are the basic concepts that you need to remember in order for us to find the horizontal asymptotes of a rational function. So let's start and let's have an example. On example number 1, we have f of x equals 3 over x plus 7. Since the degree of the numerator is 0 and the degree of the denominator is 1, we are going to have n less than m. If the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator, our horizontal asymptote, that is 0. On number 2, we have f of x equals x squared minus 7x plus 10 all over 4x cubed minus 2x plus 1. The highest degree in the numerator is 2 and the highest degree in the denominator is 3. Therefore, we are going to have n less than m. If the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator, our horizontal asymptote is 0. On number 3, we have f of x equals 7 over x squared minus 9 plus 5. So in this expression, our horizontal asymptote is 0 because the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator. That's why we have 0. And then we have plus 5. So our horizontal asymptote, that is 0 plus 5, is 5. On number 4, we have f of x equals 4x minus 3 all over x minus 5. Since the degree of the numerator is equal to the degree of the denominator, we are going to have n equals m. If the degree of the numerator is equal to the degree of the denominator, our horizontal asymptote is a over b. a that is the leading coefficient in the numerator that is 4 and b is the leading coefficient in the denominator, which is 1. So 4 divided by 1, that is 4. So 4 is our horizontal asymptote. In example number 5, we have f of x equals 8x squared minus 8x plus 6 all over 2x squared minus 8 plus 3. In this expression, the degree of the numerator is equal to the degree of the denominator. Therefore, we have n equals m. If the degree of the numerator is equal to the degree of the denominator, our horizontal asymptote, that is, y equals a over b. a is the leading coefficient in the numerator, which is 8, and b is the leading coefficient in the denominator, that is 2. 8 divided by 2, that is 4, and then we have 3. So 4 plus 3, that is 7. So this will be our horizontal asymptote. On number 6, we have f of x equals 3x squared minus 6 all over 4 plus 12x squared plus 2 third. Since the degree of the numerator is equal to the degree of the denominator, we are going to have n equals m. If the degree of the numerator is equal to the degree of the denominator, our horizontal asymptote is a over b. a is the leading coefficient in the numerator, that is 3, and b is the leading coefficient in the denominator, that is 12. 3 over 12, that is 1 fourth. And then let us add 2 third. Let us have 12 as the LCM of 4 and 3. 12 divided by 4, that is 3 times 1. And then 12 divided by 3, that is 4 times 2. Let us simplify. 3 times 1 is 3. And then 4 times 2 is 8 all over 12. So 3 plus 8 is 11 over 12. So this will be our horizontal asymptote. On example number 7, we have f of x equals x squared minus 5x plus 6 all over x minus 3. Since the degree of the numerator is greater than the degree of the denominator, we are going to have n greater than m. 
If the degree of the numerator is greater than the degree of the denominator, there is no horizontal asymptote. But if the degree of the numerator exceeds the degree of the denominator by exactly 1, there is what we call oblique asymptote. To find oblique asymptote, let us simply divide the numerator by the denominator and we are going to disregard the remainder. So let us use long division. Let us have x squared minus 5x plus 6 divided by x minus 3. x squared divided by x, that is x. x times x is x squared. x multiplied by negative 3, that is negative 3x. So let us subtract negative 5x minus negative 3x, that is negative 2x. And we are going to cancel this one. Let us bring down 6. Negative 2x divided by x, that is negative 2. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x. Negative 2 multiplied by negative 3, that is positive 6. So let us subtract, and our remainder is 0. So therefore, our horizontal asymptote is an equation that is y equals x minus 2. And this will be our answer. On our last example, we have f of x equals 5x cubed minus 6x plus 2 all over 7x minus 4. Since the degree of the numerator is greater than the degree of the denominator, we are going to have n greater than m. If the degree of the numerator is greater than the degree of the denominator, there is no horizontal asymptote. Since the degree of the numerator exceeds the degree of the denominator by more than 1, there is no oblique asymptote. So to write our answer, we are going to have there is no horizontal asymptote. And this will be our answer. So I hope you've learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.